Oh hi again, welcome back to the Monday Weekly News. And I know we had a nice break there over Christmas. Um, Santa came for the kids and everybody got what they wanted. So um, we had a great Christmas. I hope you all had a good Christmas. And um, it doesn't, it really tr goes fast Christmas, doesn't it? It's over in no time. I've been back working a few days, doing bits and pieces, not back fully yet, but doing bits and pieces to keep the bills paid. Um, ignore the background. You don't want to see one of them. We'll talk about that in a minute, anyway. We'll start with the news. And I said, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a, and a good New Year. And the Nexus 7 now is dual booting with Ubuntu and Android using multi-ROM. You see it here. There's a video. And it's called multi-ROM. It's from the XDA developers. The link is there as well. So if you have a Nexus 7 and you want a chance um, not breaking it or dual booted, um, just check out that video. Um, the next thing is, um, as you know, Linux. If you have a Windows 8 PC and you want to install Linux out of it, now, sorry, it's one of the kids coming in there. And um, it's still quite difficult to install Linux on a Windows 8 PC due to this UEFI um, ultra fast booting of Windows 8 through uh, Unified Extendable Firmware Interface, UEFI. So it's still quite difficult to um, install a dual boot Windows 8 with a Linux operating system. Microsoft doesn't want you doing it, of course. There is, there is workarounds, but um, if you are going to buy an... Uh, Windows 8 PC, and you want to install another operating system, just be careful. Um, it may, it, it's hard to do at the moment. KDE 4.9 now is going to ship in January, this January. There's the Dolphin um, File Manager. KDE is a very, very nice operating system. Haven't tried it now in a while, but um, you can download it there and uh, install it. Burn to a disk and install it. Dual boot it with your Windows 8. Or just delete Windows 8 altogether. That's probably a better idea. And as you know, the Ultimate Edition of Ubuntu. Well, I, I, I we call it the Ubuntu Ultimate Edition. It's based on Ubuntu, but it's the Ultimate Edition. It has all the extras built in. All the codecs. There's loads of extra programs. And if you have a graphics card that supports Compass, Compass is easy to run in it there. So the um, Ultimate Edition 3.5 now is released. My Paint. Here it is here. 1.1.0 has been released. And it's, it does, you can, you, can, you can do pretty, pretty advanced painting with this. So check that out. And there's also a video there. Forgive this mouse. It's an old, um, let me see it there. It's an old Dell mouse. Uh, but the, the middle click makes a bit of noise. But there's a video there as well from my paint. Check that out. Very nice. Uh, the Bonobo, the Bonobo Extreme now. This is a System76 laptop. Uh, Joe Steiger has done a review on it there. Very, very nice um, NVIDIA graphics card. 4 gigabytes of memory in the card. Nightcore 7. 8 gigabytes of RAM. And has a 60 gigabyte solid state drive. And 17.3 inch screen. So Joe has done a review on it there. Check that out. If you're looking for Linux stickers, there's a place to go now. UnixStickers.com And if you happen to have a... PC or laptop and you want to put your sticker on it there, you can buy them here. We'll just have a look at the Ubuntu ones there. And as you can see there, um, as far as I know, 45 cent per sticker. So that's very, very good. Um, don't forget, the CES 2013 is starting, um, I think, in about two to three days. I think it's tomorrow or the day after. Um, and we've also we also installed SM Player. I'll leave a link there how to install SM Player. Very good little player. Plays everything. And so instead of having movie player, you can have SM Player there. It's, just try it out. It's a nice player. And you can have a playlist on it as well. It does most it'll play most every format. And as you know, Ubuntu has announced announced a new phone OS. I leave links there to Planet Ubuntu and Celebrate Ubuntu YouTube channels. There's loads of vi loads of video about it. And um it's a nice OS. I've seen the videos, and to be honest with you, it, just, it works from the four edges of the screen, top, bottom, left, and right. So you can get everything from there. There's no lock screen. It's called a welcome screen instead. Um, I hope somebody picks up this phone. Um, it, it'll be, of course, if you if, keep track now with the CES 2013, as Canonical have a stand there, and they'll be showing off the Ubuntu OS phone. And I think you can run it, run this OS on the Nexus 7, or sorry, the Nexus 4, are the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. As far as you can know, you can run this. And there'll be images available to download. 
in the next I think three to four weeks so um, the Nexus 4 phone isn't available here in this country in Ireland and um, not yet but um, I think the OS is quite nice and I hope someone picks up this OS and goes with it you know and um, it looks better than Android and um, Windows and uh, Mac if you ask me now but I'm just probably one of these Ubuntu fans, you know, I'd probably say that anyway, but I think it's nice, you know, but let's hopefully someone will go with this, pick it up and work on it, it'll take another year or so to develop it properly, but the sooner I think, the better. So that's it for the news, we'll be back in around the same time next um, Sunday, and again, thanks for all the people that are subscribing to the channel, hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year, and we'll talk again next Sunday, thank you again.